All right, in this session, you will be learning about point of view. Now, of course, you've learned about point of view before. I'm not trying to say that you haven't. Um, this is just going to be a quick rundown of what that looks like. So, we know that there are multiple types of point of view, right? Um, when you look for point of view, you're looking to see who is telling the story. Okay, you're looking for what pronouns do we see being used. That usually helps us kind of determine point of view. And you're kind of seeing how much the narrator knows. Okay, do they have the full or partial point of view? Right, so can they tell everything about the story or only some things about the story? And today we're going to be really talking about it. Point of view is who is talking, who is telling the story. So, first person, okay, this is how you would talk about yourself. You are using the pronouns I and my. I went to the store. I picked up some sandwiches. I ate the sandwiches with my friend, okay? The narrator is telling the story and is slash was in the story. And often the narrator shares a lot of their feelings because it's them telling the story about their selves. Okay, so they're often telling you your the inner thoughts and feelings. So usually that's what you can look for. That's why that guy's pointing to himself. Me. My. The next one is second person. This is very rare. But... I will tell you, we've read a text like this before, and I'm going to kind of explain that in just a second. This is where the main character, you, or the, excuse me, the narrator is using you. The word you as the pronoun. You will go to the store. You'll see a sandwich. You will pick up the sandwich, and you will eat it with your friends. You is the pronoun. Now, sometimes the narrator will address the reader and say, you actually, like you the reader, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Or it can also sound like they're kind of talking to themselves, right? So, <laughs> you know, when you're giving positive affirmations to yourself in the morning, you will do your work. You will do good. You are awesome. You can do anything, right? That sounds like you're talking to yourself. So sometimes these you stories, these second person stories can kind of sound like you're talking to yourself. The last one is third person. Okay, you hear all the time, you know, in fact, in the debate, Joe Biden and Donald Trump both referred to themselves in the third person. They both said Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Okay, so they actually said that about themselves. Um, so third person uses the pronouns he, she, they, um, and there's a couple of other ones, but those are the main ones. So if this is a common thing when you're telling a story. He went to the store. He bought a sandwich. He ate the sandwich with a friend. Okay. And the narrator is outside of the story telling it typically. Now, sometimes they can be in the story if they're only referring to other people and not themselves. Um, and the characters may or may not know everything the reader does. So there's two types of third person. The first one is that they know everything, okay, that the reader knows. So the character, the characters know everything the reader knows. So any, you know, drama or things that are being said, they know. There's another one where the characters don't know everything, but the reader does. So the narrator is like, he went to the store and got a sandwich. But what he did not know is that the sandwich was poison. Well, the character doesn't know that, but we do. Okay. Um, and that's just done to kind of make it interesting, right? So now you know that the sandwich is poison and he doesn't and he's going to eat that sandwich and you know it and he doesn't and it's crazy. It drives you crazy as a reader. So these are the three, but there's also a fourth and one that we don't really talk about, which is hybrid. You can switch between point of views. Think about if you've ever read a story like that. I have not, um, but I have heard of them. They switch from, usually from first person to third person, but they can also include second person, okay? And they just switch back and forth, back and forth. It's very cool. Okay. So for the lesson, what you're doing today, after you watch this video, of course, you're going to be doing the point of view. Now, you're going to determining be determining what your short story is.
point of view wise. Now, uh, I will say the one that we read the other day, um, I'm going to read a quick passage to you, and I want you to tell me, and think, uh, you can't really tell me, but I want you to think to yourself which one it is. After the cop explains the situation, your pop will pull out an uncomfortable smile and vouch for you. He'll say you're a good kid and that you're just down here to play some ball at the gym at Balboa Park. So, when you heard that, think to yourself, what pronouns is this guy using? Hmm. Well, he's using a lot of you and yours. So think about it. What, what could that be if you're using you and your? I wonder. Well, let's look. Third person uses he, she, and they, which I guess could apply because he refers to his dad as he, but he refers to himself in the story, so it can't be third person. It's not hybrid. Sorry. What about second person? Well, maybe. Let's look at first person. The pronouns I and my. Mm, he doesn't say those. He doesn't say that in there. So my thought is that it's probably second person because he's using you and your. Right? Kind of sounds like he's talking to himself. Yeah. So this is second person. Now, when I go do the discussion board, I'm going to say, okay, what point of view is the short story? Mm, second person. Now, I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm going to say, I know that it is second person because... He uses the words you and your by saying, after the, I'm using specific textual evidence. I'm saying, after the cop explains the situation, your pop will put on an uncomfortable smile, uncomfortable smile and vouch for you. So I'm going to put that text directly in there. I'm going to say, okay, this is the text that supports that. Oh, it asks for a second reason. Hmm. What's the second reason I could give, right? So if I'm looking at my second person, so narrator addresses the reader or sometimes sounds like they are talking to themselves. Well, I would say it kind of sounds like he's talking to himself. So I would say it sounds like he's talking to himself because he's not addressing the reader at all. Okay, so he's just kind of talking to himself. And that's what you're going to put. Okay, um, now if your yours is in first person or third person, you need to back that up with two reasons. Okay, and use textual evidence for full credit. Now, this discussion board can be found under the Unit 2 Discussion Board folder. Okay, it is mastery, so make sure that you do it. I will be checking it. Okay, um, yeah, so you'll have 10 minutes to do that, just like the other lesson. You're going to have 10 minutes to do this discussion board, um, and then we will come back into the room at the time that I just gave a few minutes ago. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Bye, guys. Good